and welcome back to Statistics and Probability class. If in the previous lesson, we have known how to determine the appropriate test statistic, in this lesson, we will know how to determine the appropriate rejection region given a significance level. A critical value of Z, Z-score, is a point or boundary on a test distribution that is compared to the computed test statistic in order to identify if the null hypothesis is to be rejected. Let us consider the table of critical values as shown beside me. So we have levels of significance, alpha equals 0 0.01, 0 0.025, 0 0.05, and 0 0.10. Then we, then we also have test types, the left tail test, right tail test, and two tail test. Now kindly refer to the table. And uh, as you can see, each of the test types have their corresponding, has their corresponding critical values for each of the levels of significance. If the alternative hypothesis has less than inequality symbol, the hypothesis test is a left tail test. But if said hypothesis has greater than inequality symbol, it is a right tail test. Nevertheless, if it has not equal to symbol, then it is a two-tailed test with each tail having an area of one-half alpha or one-half of the level of significance. Example 1. Assuming that the normal distribution applies, find the critical Z values in each of the following cases. A. Left-tailed test with alpha equals 0.025. B. Right-tailed test with alpha equals 0.10. And C. Two-tailed test with alpha equals 0.01. Now let us use the table of critical values. Let us begin with the first given. A. Left-tailed test with alpha equals 0.025. By referring to the table, the answer is Z equals negative 1.96. How about for letter B? Right-tailed test with alpha equals 0.10. Answer is Z equals positive 1.28. How about for C? Two-tailed test with alpha equals 0.01. Answer is Z equals positive negative 2.575. To find the critical value of T, T score, significance level, and degrees of freedom DF equals N minus 1 must be identified. Then use the T table. Moreover, a left tail uses a, col a column for one tail with a negative sign, whereas a right tail uses a column for one tail with a positive sign. And the two-tailed uses a column with a negative and positive signs. Example 2. Find the critical T values in each of the following cases. Letter A. Left-tailed test with alpha equals 0.05 and N equals 27. Since N equals 27, then DF equals 26. That is from DF equals N minus 1. And from the t-table, it can be seen that t equals negative 1.706. It is negative because it comes from a left tail test. How about for letter B? Right tail test with alpha equals 0.005 and n equals 14. By using the t-table and looking at alpha from one tail test row, again, just like in item A, you will find out that T equals positive 3.012. This time, the positive sign of the D value will remain positive since it is a right tail test. How about for letter C? Two-tailed test with alpha equals 0.10 and N equals 19. In the D table, we will refer to two-tailed test row and search for alpha equals 0.10. Then df equals 18 since df equals n minus 1 or 19 minus 1. And this tells us that t equals positive 1.734. Critical region or rejection region is the area containing the values not in the acceptance region. 
that is, the area of the tail or tails is where the rejection region is. When the population variance is known, use the Z table in determining the rejection region. For instance, if significance level alpha equals 0.05 for a one-tailed test, the critical region is either to the left of Z equals negative 1.645 or to the right of Z equals positive 1.645 depending on whether it is left-tailed or right-tailed. For a two-tailed test, we use alpha over 2 equals 0.025 where the critical regions are below Z equals negative 2.33 and above Z equals positive 2.33. Now, if the absolute value of the computed test statistic Z is equal to or greater than the critical value, then the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative hypothesis is accepted. If the population variance is unknown, Use the t-table in identifying the rejection region. Say, for example, alpha equals 0 0.10 and df equals 25. For a one-tailed test, t equals negative 1.316 or t equals positive 1.316. For a two-tailed test, use alpha over 2 equals 0 0.05 where t equals negative 2.060 and t equals positive 2.060. Again, if the absolute value of the computed test statistic t is equal to or greater than the critical value, then the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative hypothesis is accepted. Let us have example 3 left-tailed test where sigma or population standard deviation is known. Alpha equals 0.01 and n equals 50. A one-tailed test with 0.01 significance level has 1% of the area under the curve being in the rejection or critical region and 99% of the area being in the acceptance region. Since sigma or population standard deviation is known, then we use z-score. Take note that this is a left-tailed test, hence we expect for a negative critical value of z, which is z equals negative 2.33. Therefore, the rejection region is z equals less than or equal to negative 2.33. Example 4. Right-tailed test where sigma or population standard deviation is known, alpha is 0 0.10 and n equals 37. T is again a one-tailed test with 90% of the area under the curve being in the acceptance region. This score will be used since sigma or population standard deviation is known. The critical value is Z equals positive 1.28. Therefore, the rejection region is Z is greater than or equal to positive 1.28. Example 5. Two-tailed test where sigma or population standard deviation is unknown. Alpha or level of significance is 0.05 and small n or sample size is 14. This is a two-tailed test with one-half of 0 0.05 equals 0 0.025 rejection regions both on the left and right tails and with degree of freedom or df equal to 14 minus 1 or df equals 13. Since n is 14 and since sigma is unknown then we use t score and from the t table t equals positive 2.160 Thus, the critical value on the left tail is negative 2.160, while on the right tail, it is positive 2.160. Then, the rejection region is T is greater than or equal to positive 2.160, but less than or equal to negative 2.160. I hope you understand now the lesson very well and... Um, I hope 
will be able to solve for the exercises that will be given to you by your teacher um, regarding this topic. Until next time.